more on visual basic 2010 visual basic is an event driven programming language it has different components and controls with their properties and the methods to add controls on the form adding shape in a form shapes are drawings which can be added in the vb form different shape controls are available in visual basic power packs tools Following predefined shapes are available on form line shape, oval shape, and rectangle shape. You can make any other shape with the help of the above available shapes. The common properties of shape control are fill style sets the shape fill style as solid, transparent, horizontal line, vertical line, etc. Fill color defines the color to be filled in the shape control. Border style sets the border style of a shape control to solid, transparent, dash, dot, etc. Border color defines the color of the border of shape control. Size sets the size of shape control. Steps to draw a shape on the form. In the Toolbox panel, select any of the shape controls. For example, select Rectangle Shape Control. When the pointer moves on to the form, it changes to a crosshair. Click and drag the crosshair to adjust size of the item. In the Properties pane, set the properties of shape as per your requirement. Adding Image in a Form you can add images in a form to increase its readability and also to beautify it. Images in the form can be added using picture box control. The common properties of picture box control are Name helps to identify a picture box. Image helps to set the desired image in the picture box. Visible contains two options. True indicates the picture box is visible on the form. False indicates the picture box will not be visible on the form. Steps to add an image in a form. Select the picture box control from the toolbox and place it on the form. A rectangular boundary will be displayed which marks the area in which the picture will be shown. From the properties pane, Select the image property. Click on the button with three dots. Select resource dialog box will appear. Select the desired image from the list. It will show only those images which have been already added before in any form. If you want to select another image which has not been added before, then click on import button. Open dialog box will appear and you can select the required image from the folder. Click on Open button. The image will get enlisted in the resources and now you can select the image. Click on OK button. Your image will be added in the picture box. Variables in Visual Basic Programming is incomplete without variables. Variables are used to effectively use the controls and write effective code of programming. Variables store information temporarily, which can be used in a computer program for various operations. Characteristics of a variable in VB A variable name can be a combination of characters and numbers. It must start with a character and should be unique for a program. Variable name cannot contain any special character except underscore. Dim statement is used to declare a variable in VB. A variable is always associated with a data type. Data type tells which type of data a variable can hold. Data type integer stores numbers from minus 32,768 
to plus 32,768. Data type string stores a group of characters. Date stores date and time based data and decimal data type stores fractional values. Declaration of a variable. Variables are defined by using dim statement. The syntax of dim statement is dim variable name as data type. For example, dim age as integer. Age is declared as a variable of integer type. Dim name as string. Name is declared as a variable of string type. Operators in Visual Basic Operators are special characters that are used to perform some operations like mathematical and conditional operators. Operators work on operands, generally to left and right of the operator. Operators are categorized as arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators. Arithmetic operators. These operators perform mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, etc. Operator caret denotes exponent of power. For example, 25 to the power of 2 is equal to 625. Operator asterisk is used for multiplication. For example, 25 times 2 is 50. Operator forward slash is for division with result in decimal. For example, 25 divided by 2 is equal to 12.5. Backslash is for integer division. Example, 25 backslash 2 is equal to 12. Mod is used for remainder of a division. So, 25 mod 2 is equal to 1. Plus performs addition. Example, 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. Minus performs subtraction. For example, 25 minus 2 is equal to 23. Relational operators. These operators are used to compare two values and return result either as true or false. Greater than or equal to returns true if first number is greater than or equal to second number. For example, in 20 is greater than or equal to 10, result will be true. Lesser than or equal to returns true if first number is less than or equal to second number. So, in 20 less than or equal to 20, result is true. Greater than returns true if first number is greater than second number. For 20 greater than 15, result is true. Lesser than returns true if first number is less than second number. In the example 20 less than 15, result will be false. Equal returns true if both the numbers are equal. So, in 20 is equal to 20, result is true. Less than, greater than or angle brackets returns true if both the numbers are not same. If we write 20 less than, greater than 20, result is false. Logical operators. These operators work on logical conditions. Logical and relational operators together form a complex condition. These operators also return true or false as result. AND returns true if all the conditions are true. For example, 4 greater than 2 and 3 less than 5. Result true. OR returns true if any one of the conditions is true. For example, 4 greater than 2 or 3 greater than 5. Result true. NOT 
reverse is true to false and vice versa. So, for not 4 greater than 2, result is false. Control statements. The execution of some statements may depend upon certain conditions or they are required to be repeated a number of times. If we have to change the normal flow of control of statement execution, then we need control statements to control the flow. The control statements that are available in Visual Basic are if then else, select case, for next, do while, etc. If then else, this statement checks the condition given after if. If the conditional expression that is coded after the word if is true, the statements after the word then are executed. Otherwise, the statements after the word else are executed. Syntax If condition then statements else If condition then statements else statements and if. Example If quantity is less than or equal to 9, then discount is equal to 0. Else, if quantity is greater than or equal to 10 and quantity is less than 25, discount is equal to 0 0.5. Else, discount is equal to 0 0.9. And if. In this example, discount will be 0 if quantity is less than or equal to 9. Discount will be 0 0.5 if the quantity is greater or equal to 10 and less than 25. Otherwise, if the quantity is greater than or equal to 25, discount will be 0 0.9. Radio button control. Sometimes you need to make a form which contains a list of options and user can select one option out of these listed options. This can be done through radio button. You can create a number of radio buttons on the form. When a user clicks on a radio button, it becomes checked and all the other radio buttons become unchecked. The common properties of radio button are Name. This helps to identify a radio button. Font. This helps to set the font, font size and font style of the radio button. Checked. This indicates whether the radio button is selected. It has two values, true and false. True indicates that the radio button is selected and false indicates that it is not selected. Text. This holds the text that will be displayed for the radio button. Visible. This property has two values, true and false. True indicates that the radio button is visible on the form and false indicates that it is not visible. Enabled. This property sets whether the control will be active during runtime or not. Let us develop an application that uses radio buttons to display various colors. The user will select any one color on the click of the button and the color will be displayed in the text box. We will also use if then else statement to complete the task. Steps to make the project Open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank form 1 will open. We have to create a form for changing the name of the color in text box. So, we need two labels, three radio buttons, a text box and a button on the form. Add all these components in the form. Next, set the properties of each control. First label, name label 1, text, color change form. Second label, name label 2, text, Select any of the options. First radio button. 
Name radio button 1, text red. Second radio button, name radio button 2, text blue. Third radio button, name radio button 3, text yellow. Button, name button 1, text color change. Text box, name text box 1. Some properties of the control are already set by Visual Basic. If they're not set, you can set them. The form will now look like this. Now double click on the button and write the code for the click of button. Finally, press F5 to run the application. On execution, you can view the result. Checkbox control. Checkbox control is similar to the radio button except that multiple checkboxes can be selected whereas only one selection is possible using radio buttons. The checkbox displays a check mark when it is selected. When the checkbox is selected, it represents true or yes and when it is not selected, it denotes false or no. The common properties of checkbox control are Name. This helps to identify a checkbox. Font. This helps to set the font, font size and font style of the checkbox. Checked. This indicates whether the checkbox is selected. It has two options, true and false. True indicates that the checkbox is selected and false indicates that it is not selected. Text. This holds the text that will be displayed for the checkbox. Visible. This property has two values, true and false. True indicates that the checkbox is visible on the form and false indicates that it is not visible. Enabled. This property sets whether the control will be active during runtime or not. Let us now develop an application that displays the price of the selected items. The user will select the items and their price will be displayed on the click of the button. Steps to develop the application. Open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank Form 1 will open. We have to create a form for entering the text in text box when checkbox is clicked. So we need two labels, three checkboxes, three text boxes and a button on the form. Add all these components in the form. Set the properties of each control. First label, name label 1, text calculate price. Second label, Name label 2, text, select any of the options. First checkbox, name checkbox 1, text, rupees 50. Second checkbox, name checkbox 2, text, rupees 40. Third checkbox, name checkbox 3, text, rupees 45. Button. Name button 1, text select price, text box 1, name text box 1, text box 2, name text box 2, text box 3, name text box 3. Some properties of the controls are already set by Visual Basic. If they are not set, you can set them. Now double click on the button code window will appear. Write the code for the click of button. Finally, press F5 to run the application. Select case. This statement is used to execute the program depending upon various choices. It compares the given or entered value with the available options. When it gets the matching option, it executes the statements given for that option. Syntax, select case expression. Case value is equal to value 1. Statements. Case value is equal to value 2. Statements.
case value is equal to value n statements. Case else statements n select. Let's use a message box to understand the working of select case. Follow the steps to enter the numbers from 1 to 7 in text box and show the respective day in message box. Open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank Form 1 will open. We have to create a form for entering the text in text box and when button is clicked, a message box will display the respective day of week. So we need one label, one text box and a button on the form. Add all the components in the form. Set the properties of each control. Label, name label 1, text, click the button. Button, name button 1, text, click. Text box 1, name text box 1. Some properties of the controls are already set by VB. If they are not set, you can set them. The form will look like this. Now double click on the button. Code window will appear. Write the code for the click of button. Finally press F5 to run the application. On execution we can view the result. For next loop. At times we may need to repeat certain statements a number of times. A loop repeatedly executes code in its body until the loop conditional statement becomes false. For next allows us to repeat a set of statements a fixed number of times. Syntax for variable is equal to initial value to final value. Statement or statements next. Let's use a rich text box to understand the working of for next. Follow the steps to print the numbers from 1 to 5 in rich text box by using for next. First, open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank Form 1 will open. We have to create a form for entering the text in rich text box when button is clicked. So we need one label, one rich text box, and a button on the form. Add all the components in the form. Now set the properties of each control. Label, name label 1, text, click the button. Button, name button 1, text, enter a line. Rich text box 1, name rich text box 1. Some properties of the controls are already set by VB. If they are not set, you can set them according to the table. Next, double click on the button. Code window will appear. Write the code for the click of button. Finally, press F5 to run the application. Do while loop. Do while loop statement is used to execute a set of statements only if the given condition is satisfied. We use this loop when we want to repeat a set of statements an indefinite number of times as long as a condition remains true. It stops executing when the condition becomes false. The syntax for do while loop is do while condition statement or statements loop. Follow the steps to print the numbers from 1 to 5 in rich text box. Open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank Form 1 will open. We have to create a form for entering the text in rich text box when button is clicked. So we need one label, one rich text box and a button on the form. Add all the components in the form. Now set the properties of each control. Label, name label 1, text, click the button. Button, name button 1, 
text, click. Rich text box 1, name, rich text box 1. Some properties of the controls are already set by Visual Basic. If they are not set, set them as per the table. Next, double click on the button. Code window will appear. Write the given code for the click of button. Finally, press F5 to run the application.